how do you feel you've improved and what specifically do you think you've improved on the most through the course of camp? Uh, it's just, it's, it's the leadership role is the biggest thing. You know, I've put in the work through the summer, through the springtime of getting the playbook down, getting the plays down, the timing down. It's just uh, stepping up in that role and, and being the leader of this team. So now it becomes the next step. As Gary said that camp is technically over now and now you're into game prep. So what becomes the next pr big priority? Uh, beating Colorado State. <laughs> just coming in and watching the film, getting us prepared to, to what we need to do, game plan and right, the right way. So we come out and, uh, you know, we win a ball game. Kind of eerie to think two weeks you guys play Colorado State. Yeah, it feels great. It feels great to play some different colors, <laughs> play a different team, and go out there and just try to win a game for, for Beaver Nation. You know, this will be the first time I got to put on a uniform and go play, so I'm excited. It sounds like there's a, a new energy, sort of a refreshing feeling that done really focusing on each other as a team. Now you really get to focus on a game, another team. Yeah, I think that's a beautiful thing every year in football. You know, you, you play against each other all year long and you get so sick of playing against the same playmakers on defense and they probably feel the same way. So it's just great to be able to come out and, like I said, to see different colors, see a different team go out there and, and just put all that we've worked out on on the field. Since you've seen your own defense so often, whether it was in the spring or during camp, um, how would you describe what this unit is like on defense? On defense, yeah. I think they're they're a solid group, and I think the back end is really solid. You know, they've they've made us as passers, you know, much better. And I think uh, the linebackers are a great group, and the D line does a great job. You know, we go back we go back and forth. Uh, uh, you know, maybe some days the O line will have a great day, or even just a period where you know the O line will do a great job, and then the next one the D line's getting a lot of pressure on us. So I think that's a sign of, of a, a good front on both sides. Talk about um, today. I mean, we saw. Great breakups by Omar Hicks and Kyle White. So two guys that you aren't seeing. It's my best Third, friend. Kyle White right now. Kyle White. Talk a little about how, how the rest of these guys are developing. Yeah, no, I think they're doing a great job. Like I said, Kyle had a great play down here. I thought we might have had him. I thought we had a ball to Billy that I thought, you know, felt good out of my hand. Thought I might get in there for a touchdown. And he made a great play breaking it up. And that's, that's stuff that they've been doing all fall camp. They did it in the spring. And like I said, they're just making us better. Something that I had thought about is during camp, and we can't watch all of practice every single day, but I don't think we've seen you throw a pick, either in the periods that we're allowed to watch or in a scrimmage. Um, how have you been able to be such a good decision maker? What's been the key to sort of you know making sure that, that the ball stays in your hands and not turn it over? It's just repetition. Yeah. Just getting out there with the guys and, and getting in the film room and making sure that we know what we're doing. So the more the, the more reps that I get, you know, staying in the pocket, making the right reads, the easier it becomes. You know, I know where I need to get with the ball. It's more fluid throughout my reads, and that just makes it makes us uh, more efficient, less turnovers, and all that. In terms of your ability to run, Ventura, you know, you ran for some touchdowns in the yards. Are you comfortable, you know, pulling the ball in the zone read here, or just taking off and scrambling? You haven't been told not to. What's kind of that dynamic like right now? No, I haven't been told not to, and, and I enjoy running the ball. I, I like just making plays any way that I can. If it has to be with my arm or with my feet. You know, I want to win a game. You know, I want to get the job done. So if I have to make a play with, with my feet, I'll do it. I'm happy to. Um, I'd like to stand in the pocket and make plays with my arm, but if the play breaks down, or if that's what the coach told me to do, I'm more than happy to do it. How comfortable are you with the offensive line right now? It's, it's gone undergone some shifts even the last couple days with Fred moving outside and, and whatnot, but how, how do you feel about that group going into yeah, the year? I feel great. I feel great. Like I said, coming through camp, even in spring ball, you know, they give us a lot of time to stand in the pocket, a lot of time to make the right reads that we need to make. And I feel great about it. But I, like I said, the defensive line, you know, I think they do a good job as well. And they make each other better on both, both fronts. How much easier does it make your job knowing that you can turn left, right, wherever? And you have a stable running back that we yeah. saw out there today. Just make it a lot easier for you, right? Yeah, I mean, we have to have one of the top backfields in the nation. I mean, you know, to have a guy like Ryan alone is, is a great backfield. To have a handful of four or five guys that I have, I don't even bat an eye, you know, handle the ball and I know they're going to make plays. So. You know, it's, it's great for us, it's great for, the, it's great for the passing game and the team as a whole.